Hey people, it's me again. So, anyways, as far as what's going on with me, as I had talked about it maybe a couple times on here, although I think my dad's health is kind of starting to decline a bit as far as that goes. So, lately, as far as yesterday, the reason why I was like, busy and all that kind of stuff there was, well, my dad had fell out of bed and he couldn't get up and so, although my mom had gone off to work and then she had left and and then came back, you know, and so all three of us, me, and my mom and my brother were trying to pick him up and all that. And we all couldn't do it, you know. And not to mention the fact that my dad had complained about his legs hurt and his shoulder was bothering him as far as that goes. And so we had, so I took, so we kind of, called the ambulance and took him to the hospital as far as that goes. And so lately, as it turns out, the reason this sort of thing had happened was my dad was suffering from, like, high blood pressure and then he gotten all dizzy and fell out of the bed. And he was reluctant to take any of his medications as far as that goes. And so... One of us would have asked him if he had took his medication, and he would said he would have taken it later, and blah, 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 you know, that sort of thing. You know, and so, I think now it's like they had decided to keep him overnight as far as it goes, and the fact that they needed to check his uh, shoulder there as far as it goes, because about a, at least a month ago was when he had this procedure where they uh, put like these radiation particles there to to fight the cancer there. My dad has lung cancer for at least, I think it was at least like 14 years, you know, as far as that goes. And the thing is, uh, both my parents used to smoke. And this was way before uh, me and my brothers were born. And the, the whole story goes with my mom that she stopped smoking after when she tried to throw out uh, the ashes while she was driving and it ruined her, her favorite dress. And then as far as with my dad, he stopped simply because of uh, my brother was born at that point. And in fact, the other reason why my dad also stopped smoking at that point was that my grandfather on that side of the family had died of lung cancer. And this was like about a couple months after my, my parents got married as far as that goes. And, uh, and that was like way before my uh, brothers and myself were born as far as I go there. So, anyways, although as far as uh, mom was saying to me earlier is that she was thinking of moving my dad downstairs because he can't really walk that, that well. And that he, she had like some concerns now that they took out the carpet and put in the, the hardwood tile there because what what would have happened if my dad had had fallen on the floor again? I mean, he would have cracked his head or something like that, you know, or or broke one of his uh, bones of that sort of there. And I figure at this point, you know, mom's probably gonna buy some sort of area rug that will cover like the entire um bathroom i mean the bedroom there you know to make it to put under like the the 
the bed, you know, that, that sort of thing there. And then, considering that, I think my mom wanted to put my brother in my other brother's old room that we don't really have any use for. And then put me back in my old room, as far as that goes. I mean, the only reason I'm in the bonus room there is because there's a TV set and I can't really sleep without the TV on for some reason, you know. I don't know what it is with with that, you know, since like the past uh, six years, I couldn't really sleep without the TV set on. But yet, it's the strange part is I'm able to sleep without the TV set on if I'm in it. If I'm in the, in an inn or something like that, you know, but but yet I can't really do that in the house. I don't know why that is. Yeah. So, as far as this sort of thing here, you know, I'm I don't I don't know if my mom is gonna consider hiring like somebody like a a caretaker of some sort that won't come in. A couple of hours and all that sort of stuff, but I think that might be an option in the future at that point, you know. You know, and uh, the fact that when my other, when my grandma on that side of the family, I mean, who I call the granny, when she was living with us, that uh, we had a caregiver, I think her name was Cecilia, that, that would have, uh, come in like uh, at least for a couple of hours as far as doing the usual things as far as that goes by changing the comforters and and the the bed pans and and then uh, cooking meals for my grandma for my grandma and all this sort of things you know and then I'm sure that's probably most likely it's gonna happen with with my dad as far as that goes once my mom is gonna probably consider doing that sort of thing as far as that goes. You know. And then the thing is I kinda of said before on one of my other videos about it, is that um I don't really want my dad to start acting the way like my my uh grandma on that side of the family was there, you know, by yelling more Jews and all this sort of stuff, you know. Especially like that of one story, as I had mentioned it on a previous vlog about that there, that my grandmother was yelling so loud that, she, that everybody in the house had heard her. And that my dad had yelled back at her at one point. You know, and that was it with her and all that, you know, I mean, I know as far as all that other stuff there, but considering all that, you know, it's one of those things I have to deal with there, and that now that my dad is getting older and all this, and he's not being able to take care of himself as far as that goes, and we may have to hire somebody to do that. You know, un I mean, unfortunately, that might be the reality that I'm facing at this point, you know. But it depends on how things are going to be going at this point there. So, anyways, I guess that's probably it until next time. So, talk to you guys later.